Welcome back. Uh, today's lesson is by request for Harry Hood. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would to get around to this one. Uh, so thank you very much for your patience out there. Uh, it's a lot to unpack in this song. Um, it's a really, really cool song. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, the one thing I will say, it, it is a, this is a quintessential band song. Um, so it's kind of hard to capture everything playing it solo, playing it by yourself. Um, but you can definitely get enough of it to where it sounds really good. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, so as always, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. I really do appreciate it. And let us hop in. All right, so Harry Hood. Uh, we start on a D minor 7 bar chord here. And uh, we're going to do kind of a kind of a reggae type type rhythm. So we're going to be hitting that root note here on the 5th fret of the A string. And then going into an A minor 7. Um, I play mine like this, where I have my thumb wrapped around here um, on the 5th fret of the low E. And then my middle finger is barring the rest of the 5th fret, except for that A string. And that happens four times. And here we come to a, uh, I believe it's an F major 7. To an E minor 7. So this one here, this F. Barring the 8th fret, got your middle finger on the 9th fret of the G. Uh, ring finger is on the 10th uh, of the D, and pinky is on the 10th of the B. It's a really, really pretty chord, too. To your E minor 7 here. Same shape as the D minor 7. Just move down to where you're barring the 7th fret. three times, hitting this C, um, so this C here, barring the uh, eighth fret, middle finger is on the ninth fret of the, uh, the G, and pinky, uh, yeah, pinky finger is on the tenth of the uh, G, and, I'm sorry, tenth of the D, and ring is on the tenth of the A, and that is the C. This chord's really weird. I'm not exactly sure what it is called. What I'm doing is barring the fifth fret, and then I have my pinky finger on the um, seventh fret of the high E, and my ring is on the seventh fret of the B. And it's really more of a passing chord. You're not going to be strumming that a lot. It's uh, and this is another part where it's. Uh, I talk about it being a band song. Um, that's that's something that you're gonna have incorporated with the the um, by the bass and the, the keyboard and the drums kind of all at the same time hitting that. Um, so, but that is the first part of the intro there. Harry part, so, uh, it's just the D minor 7 to E minor 7, and then just a droning A. So that'll happen four times, and the fourth time it's a little, a little more kind of holding that, that A more. Um, again, it's where the, where the band comes in, but... Um, so after you do that, come down here,
so I know I just did a whole lot there. Um, so starting on this this D. Um, so I've got my middle finger on the eleventh fret of the G, and then I am barring the tenth fret of the B and the E here. And your pinky's going to get a lot of work here in this piece. say here, I've um, just got my middle finger on the ninth fret of the, um, the high E, uh, index finger is on the ninth fret of the G, and ring is on the tenth fret of the B. And then again, your pinky is going to um, get some work here, going to kind of hammer on and pull off on the tenth fret of the E. And you move the same shape here, this A, up to a G. So you're just moving that up two frets, and you're again using that pinky finger here on the uh, eighth fret of the high E. So after you go through that a couple times, so now you'll hit the G by itself. You're going into an E minor here just like that except for you're just playing you're just focusing on these four strings here um, down to an F sharp minor same same shape just down two frets Ooh, sorry so again I'll go through that one more time whole piece again. second time. Going into this A here. Very, very, very cool piece of this song. Um, so here we're just playing this, um, this A here. So I've got my middle finger is on the uh, sixth fret here of the G string and pink and ring is on the seventh of the D. I'm just hitting that all those strings there. Let them ring out nice and pretty. Um, so, so this here just have my index finger on the seventh fret of the G, and my ring finger is now on the ninth fret of the D. So this is really cool here too. So middle finger and ring finger. Uh, middle finger is on the uh, ninth fret of the G. Um, I'm sorry, ninth fret of the D. Ring is on the ninth fret of the G. Slide those down to the eleventh fret. Hit that eleventh fret there. Back up to the nine, and then back to that A. And there we have this little run. So we start on the ninth fret of the A string, slide down to the eleventh fret, and then right after you slide down to the eleventh fret here, you're gonna hit the ninth fret on the G string. And you're gonna do the 
same thing, just kind of move it up, right? So we start here on the 9 to the 11th fret, to the uh, ninth fret of the G. And then back on the A string, you're going to slide down from the 7 to the 9. And then you're going to hit the 7 on the G. And you're going to slide from here, from the 9 down to the 14th fret of the A. Oh. Then you're going to hit the 13th fret here on the G. You're going to do the 12th fret of the A and the 11th of the G. And then back to the A. So let's go through, let's go through that whole piece here starting on Starting with this D. I'll go through it slowly. They'll do this part uh, a couple of times. Uh, and then from there, I have this other piece starting up here. The song is just full of awesome little little sections that are just fantastic. Um, a lot of good practice too. A lot of things I've never really messed around with before, so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so same shape as that A there. Um, now I've got my ring finger on the fifth fret of the G. Fifth fret of the D, sorry, and middle fingers on the fourth fret of the G. And this is kind of a, it's a little more of a picking pattern initially. Um, this one really kind of helps to listen to it to, to really hear what they're doing, but. So now I've got my ring finger on the 4th fret of the D, and index finger is on the 2nd fret of the G, then 2nd fret of the D, and then open um, on the G, and then back, and then go back, then you walk back down, so... Second time it kind of changes. It's a little more, a little more pop to it, I guess. And the third time, sorry. Then you go back to the and to the A. So let's go through that part one more time here. to this part here. Alright, so this is when the A, I guess the maybe the toughest part about this is the rhythm is a little a little funky, I guess, but again this one is the more you listen to the song, um, and I've listened to this song a thousand times, uh, I think you, I think you can really hear what they're playing there. Um, and as long as you know what the chords are, I think you can, I think you can get it. 
So we're playing this A here. Um, uh, index finger is on the fifth fret of the uh, uh, B string. Middle finger is on the sixth fret of the uh, G. And ring is on the seventh fret of the D. Um, so this is a, uh, a D here. Um, so the way I'm playing it right now, I'm barring um, the tenth fret, and I've got my middle finger on the eleventh fret of the G, and my ring finger is on the twelfth of the D. same shape and now I'm just barring the 12th fret. Now we do that um, we do that quite a few times depending on the version of the song. Way that you uh, end this part do that again here so after this D here or, sorry so starting here finger here on the ninth fret of the G and my ring finger is on the 11th of the D and I'm moving that up two frets and hitting that A I'm going to go back to this section that we went over before all right so we are almost we're almost through it um, so let me go through it again, starting here. So the last part here, uh, so Trey and Mike will do, or not Trey and Mike, Mike and Paige will do um, a little, little bit of a fill here, and then you've got the um, kind of that solo, the solo build-up piece, right? Um, 
So what I'm doing there, right here, get that seventh fret. Then the I'm um, going from the eighth fret to the seventh fret on the A. Then the tenth fret to the tenth fret to the ninth fret on the D. Then the tenth to the ninth fret on the G. Then the seventh fret, the G. Bending the ninth fret of that um, of the D up to the ten. So it's the exact same thing, but we're just, we're just moving it up a step here. So again, same thing, we're just starting on the ninth fret of the low E. Then the 10, so 10th fret, so fret to the ninth fret of the A. Then the 12th fret to the 11th fret on the um, D. Same thing on the G. And then one final time, starting on the 11th fret. So after you have all that, we end, we go back to an E. Last little piece here when they really really build it up. Um, so start with uh, again. It's the same chord. It's, it's still a um, a d to g. Or I'm sorry, d a d a g. Um, so I've got my index finger on the uh, 14th fret of the G. Um, middle fingers on the 15th fret of the B, and pinky is on the uh, 17th fret of the E. Keep your pinky, the pinky finger stays there, which is what makes it somewhat of a tough stretch. Um, and you bar the 14th fret, um, the, the, the G and the B strings. And you keep that pinky finger there, and then you bar the 12th fret. So it's a tough stretch. Um, if you can't get to it, it's okay. Just keep practicing. And I don't know, stretch your fingers or something. I don't know. Um, tough one um so we went through a lot um it's a great song it's a lot of fun to play it's a lot of practice i still have a lot of practicing to do on it uh, but hopefully this helps anyone out there trying to uh trying to pick up this song thank you all very much for watching please see any feedback comments below um, if you've made it through this whole video and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit the bell for notifications thank you very much see you again soon